Hello and welcome to this training video series on GHS, General Hydrostatics, the widely popular software for ship hydrostatics. This video is an introduction to the basics of GHS. In this video we shall cover the following topics. First, what is GHS? Next, what can GHS do, that means the capabilities of GHS, and next we will cover how GHS works. There are two basic mechanisms of working of GHS, which are the GF file and the run file. We'll discuss each of them, and in the end, we'll give a small demonstration of the working of GHS. Let's begin. What is GHS? GHS is primarily a ship hydrostatics and stability software. It is used to calculate hydrostatics, stability, and longitudinal strength of a ship in a given loading condition. GHS is also used for simulation-oriented settings like salvage when the ship is grounded, heavy lift operations or in special vessels like crane barges. There's another very interesting aspect of GHS which is the GHS load monitor, or the GLM. The GLM is a separate module of GHS, using which we can create loading software for any ship, which can be used on board by the captain and the crew of the vessel for stability calculations. Next we'll see how GHS works. For GHS to work, what is required is 3D geometry files of the ship, which means a file which will contain all the geometry information of the ship in 3D format. Once this geometry file is available this file is read by GHS, and calculations of stability and strength are performed by using some commands which are input into GHS by the user. Thus, there are two basic subsystems in GHS. First is the geometry file which goes as the input to GHS, giving all the geometry information of the ship, and the second subsystem is, the commands, which the user has to input to perform calculations on this model. The 3D geometry file which is input into GHS is called the GF file. It has an extension .gf, and the commands which are given to perform calculations on this geometry file are contained in a file which is called the run file. These are a series of commands which the user types and saves in a file called the run file. This run file is a text file containing all the commands which the user wants to perform on that 3D geometry file. So the two basic aspects of running GHS are, 1, the GF file, and 2, the run file. Now we will look at each of them in a bit more of detail. The geometry file, or the GF file, is a text file which contains the complete geometry data of the ship. By complete geometry data what we mean is, the outer hull, the definition of the internal tanks, and the superstructure. The first exercise in GHS is creating this geometry file. As mentioned earlier, the extension of geometry files is .gf. One very important aspect of this geometry file is that this geometry file generates all the variable loads on the ship. By variable loads, we mean loads which change with changing motion of the ship or which can be changed by varying the amount of loading. For example, buoyancy is a variable load which changes when the ship heals or trims. Or the tank weights, which change with heel and trim of the vessel. Such variable loads are all generated by this geometry file. However, the geometry file doesn't generate the fixed weights like lightship. These weights are to be entered through commands which are contained in the run file. Next, we take a look at a model generated by GHS, and see what all it contains. We can see this is a ship model generated in GHS using a 3D geometry file. The first part of this model is the outer hull, which is the outer shell of the vessel. Next are the tanks which are visible through this transparent model, and the third part is the superstructures which we can see, have also been modeled. That was about the .gf file or the geometry file. Next we take a look at the run file, which is a file containing all the commands. Run file is a file which comprises of a set of commands in a particular order. These commands are executed on the geometry file by inputting these commands in GHS. 
That means once GHS has read the geometry file, we can input these set of commands, and these commands will perform some calculations on this geometry file. GHS has got many number of commands, and each of these commands performs a specific action. Each command has a particular syntax, and depending on what the user wants GHS to do, the user can enter the particular commands required to perform the desired action. For example, lightweight or other fixed weight items are to be entered using specific commands. Or a whole set of stability calculations satisfying a particular class requirement can be performed using a set of commands in GHS. These commands are entered with their syntax in a text file called the run file, and GHS reads this file and performs the calculations. So that was about the GF file and run file and a basic introduction to GHS. To sum up, the first step in GHS is to create the geometry file. Once this geometry file is created, it is read by GHS. After this, depending on what the user wants GHS to do, whether it is a stability calculation or simply checking hydrostatics of the vessel, the user will enter the specific commands required to perform that action using the run file, which is a text file containing these commands. Once these commands are input into GHS, GHS will perform the calculations and get the results to the user. This is the basic structure of GHS and how it works. Now we'll see a small demo of how GHS works. We'll show how GF file and run file look like, and we'll show how GHS runs these two files, works with them and gets the results for you. This is a demonstration video of the principles and working of GHS. In this video we'll see how a GF file looks like, how a run file looks like, and we'll also see how GHS works with these two files to produce results. So let's begin. In this folder we have a shortcut to GHS, and we have the geometry file, and we also have the run file. Before we begin, let's take a look at the geometry file and the run file. As mentioned earlier, the geometry file is a text file which contains all the geometry information of the ship in 3D format. Let's open and see it. This is how a geometry file looks like. As we can see there is a whole lot of data. This data is of the hull, the tanks, and the superstructures of the ship. At this stage we need not be worried about how this geometry file is created and how this data is generated. This is just a demonstration of how a GF file looks. Now let's take a look at the run file. As mentioned earlier, the run file is also a text file which contains all the commands which are to be operated on the geometry file through GHS. We can see that the run file has a lot of commands which are in the syntax and the sequence required by GHS. This set of commands when run in GHS, performs a desired action on the geometry file. Now let's start GHS. This is the welcome window of GHS. It has a lot of options like, file, report, view, project, wizard and help. This being a demonstration video, these topics won't be covered in detail, they will be covered in later videos. We'll see how a geometry file is opened, and how a run file is executed in GHS. To open a geometry file, we go to file. Read geometry, and click on it. It'll ask us to select the geometry file. Once we open the geometry file we can see that GHS has read the geometry input and generated the drawing. We can see the hull, the internal tanks and the superstructure. So, step 1, which is reading the geometry file in GHS, is done. The next step which is the step 2, is executing commands on this geometry file. There are two ways of executing commands on this geometry file. The first one is to enter these commands directly in the GHS window. The second one is to create the run file, which is a text file containing all the commands, which can be then read into GHS and the commands are executed. Let's look at the first option, which is inputting the commands directly in the GHS window. Say we want to know the hydrostatics of this vessel at a given draft, 
say 4 meters. The command for that is, GHS, space, draft. The draft is 4.0 meters. We can see that the hydrostatic particulars have been generated and are shown in the GHS window. The different hydrostatic properties are, LCF, displacement, LCB, VCB, TPC, MCT, KML and KMT. This was the first method of inputting commands. When a number of commands are to be input in GHS, this method becomes cumbersome. A better option is to create a run file, which contains all the commands, and run it in GHS. To execute a run file, we go to file. Run. It will ask us to select the run file. We select the run file. We can see that GHS has done the calculations and generated the results. To view the results, we go to report. Preview current output. We can see that the calculations have been done and a report has been generated in GHS. This was a stability calculation for a vessel and it shows the GZ curve and the longitudinal strength curve. This is how calculations are performed in GHS. That brings us to the end of this demonstration of GHS. Please visit the website thenavelart.com for more videos. Thank you very much.